Okay, so this is the camper I'm going to build. Um, it's a sliding truck camper. So I started uh, building this uh, truck camper and the total length is over 1,000 feet. So a few uh, months ago, I actually started uh, thinking I could use 1.5 times 1.5 inches ex uh, aluminum, 80-20 aluminum, or uh, 1.5 inches and 3 inches uh, aluminum. But the just the frame itself using 80-20 uh, aluminum uh, extrusion, it actually the frame itself just uh, came out uh, alone came out to be three over three thousand dollars which is just not reasonable so i started uh, looking in to see whether or not i can just uh, make welding aluminum uh, 1.5 inches square tubing and the cost came out came out to be about half of that fifteen hundred hundred dollars it's, uh, it's uh, still very expensive so i decided to um you know, cut the cost a little bit using angle iron, uh, aluminum angle iron for the supporting parts inside the camper. And uh, that cost the co cut the cost down to about $1,300. Still a lot, but better. So this last picture shows you that I actually was able to come up with the 20 panels and uh, cost about $1,800 and almost uh, 400 pounds plus the frames uh, around 300 pounds so this camper is going to be 700 pounds just the frames aluminum uh, square tubing frames and also the metal aluminum metal tubing that doesn't include the insulation and um, you know possibly um, well not possibly but all the inside uh, stuff that's going to go into the camper so stay tuned and follow along so this is the 80 cubic feet uh, argon gas tank that I bought for uh, make welding the truck camper, so stay tuned. I'm going to try to source all the frames, aluminum frames, and also the aluminum sheet for walls, and then start uh, welding this uh, great uh, truck camper.